square root of 20 minus square root of 5. What's the answer right here? Go ahead and pause the video and try this first. You're done? Okay, cool. What's the answer? Well, the answer is C. Yes, the answer is square root of 5, okay? Firstly, do not do 20 minus 5 and say the answer is 15 in the square root. No, this is a very common mistake. No, don't do that. This is not the way to subtract square root. Let me show you how this is supposed to be done. Let me write this down again. Square root of 20 minus square root of 5. Well, the first thing that we will have to do is break down the square root. And the way to do it is, we have to ask ourselves, what times 4 will give us 20? And one of them has to be a perfect square. Well, by perfect square, we mean the following. And let me write it down on the side for you guys. Perfect squares. These are the numbers that will give you a nice number for the square root. For example, the first one is technically square root of 1. This is equal to 1, but it doesn't reduce anything. So never use this. Okay? To reduce any radical numbers, do not use this. The next number we do is square root of 4. This will give you 2. And then square root of 9, it will give you 3. Right? Because 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And then so on. The next number is what? 16. Because 4 times 4 gives you 16. So yeah. And then we have square root of 25. That will give you 5. And now you might be wondering, do we have to remember these numbers? You just have to remember to do them. And maybe put them on the side. That's all. How do you remember them? This is how. The next number will be 6. And you just multiply it by itself. 6 times 6 is 36. This tells us square root of 36. It's equal to 6. And let's just practice a couple more. The next one is going to be what? 7. 7 times 7 gives you 49. So square root of 49 is 7. And the next one is 8. 8 times 8 is 64. Square root of 64 is 80 is 8. And the next one is 81. That will give you 9. And of course, let's just put on one more. The last one that we have right here is uh, 10, right? 10 times 10 is 100. And of course, this right here keeps on going on forever. But these are the first 10. So now, right here, we see square root of 20. Mm, we know the square root of 20, we can break it down as 2 times 10 is square root of 20. Yeah? Square root of 2 times square root of 10. This right here. 2 times 10 is 20. That's good. But the problem is that I do not know the square root of 2 right here. It's not one of these. Likewise, square root of 10 is not one of these. It's not going to be helpful. Instead, we are going to look at square root of 20 as what? 4 times 5. Right? In the square roots right here. Right? And you see? Square root of 4 is right here. We know that this is nicely equal to a nice number 2. And even though we don't know what this is, but at least we are breaking it down, right? So don't do this, even though square root of 2 times square root of 10 is square root of 20, but it does not help us. So with that being said, we are going to go back here and then break this apart. Square root of 4 times square root of 5. And for this one, we cannot really reduce it, right? 5 is just the same as 5 times 1. Doesn't seem too much. So check this out. This right here is equal to this times that. This is what? Just a nice number 2. And then we multiply with square root of 5. And then we are going to subtract, haha, square root of 5. Both of them are with square root of 5. This is 2 square root of 5, and we are subtracting 1, right? Because if you don't see any number here, it's technically a 1 right here. And how we can combine it is just 2 minus 1, which is 1, and then we maintain the square root of 5. 1 times square root of 5 eh, is just square root of 5, like this. Okay, before we go, this is the question that I want you to try. Square root of 18 minus square root of 8. Well, comment down below what the answer is and you can use this right here to help you, right?